What is going on, guys? It is your boy, Austin FFA or Luna. How are you doing on this fine Friday evening? Um, I'm doing just shitty. I had to move a whole fucking roof down to my... Literally, I had to like, rip apart my roof and move it, but that's besides the point. Um, I have another uh, video for the My First series. I'm actually not even titling this My First because it's just too crazy. I gotta put this in the title. So, it's basically My First hand job, but it couldn't go any more wrong. So, I'm just gonna jump right into it, guys. This happened to have, this happened to happen, okay, this happened at, at a, um, a party. Now, I was going to say, oh, this happened to happen at a party, but that would sound stupid. So, this happened at a party, and um, it was basically the same scenery as last time. My, uh, my one friend called me up, and he said, you know, Austin, there's a party this Saturday. Do you want to go with me? And I'm like, fuck yes, I do want to go with you. So, Saturday came along, he came in his fucking Ford Fiesta, and he picked me up, I'm just kidding, it's not a Ford Fiesta, but it's some sort of Ford car, it's really shitty, but he got me in his car that smelled like cigarettes and fucking weed, and we went to this party, it's actually right down the street from my house, I can walk there in like 10 seconds, so, we go there, we slap up the kid who was hosting it, we tell we brought some, uh, he brought beer, believe it or not, he brought like a whole like a whole case of beer and one of them was missing. I know if you get pulled over in my state with uh, an open beer, you can get in trouble. So luckily we didn't get pulled over, even though we drove like literally a block down the street. So we brought the beer. We, we, we told him, thank you for hosting it. Cause you know, it's a party, you know, you gotta be, you gotta have some balls to host a party. So, you know, an hour into the party, I, I saw this girl and, um, she happened to be friends of the girl who gave me the blowjob, believe it or not. And um, she actually asked me, she's like, oh, you're this girl's friend, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yep, that's me. And she's like, oh, um, we should really hang out sometime. I'm like, yeah, definitely. Here's my number. So I gave her my number and uh, followed each other on Twitter, slid into her DMs right in front of her. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, I followed her on Twitter. And, uh, you know, we just, we just basically linked on all social medias and just kind of talked for a while about an hour into the party we were getting really friendly like she was drinking i was drinking you know we were holding hands just sitting in the living room drinking and in a circle talking to other people so she told me to come with her and she it literally looked straight out of one of those pictures where the girl is walking you down the hallway and she has her hand like guiding you to a room that's what it looked like okay and I, in my head, all I'm thinking is, hell yeah, Austin's about to get the business. Let's go. So um, we go into this room, and she's like, take your pants off. And I'm like, oh, we're getting right into business. That's what I said. I'm like, oh, we're getting right into business. And I'm like, oh, my God. I When I look back at these moments, guys, all I can think is just, what the fuck was going through your head, dude, to say this shit? Like, I'm just so awkward in these situations. So I just basically said, I'm like, oh, we're getting right into business now, are we? And she's like, is that what you don't want? I'm like... Hey, I, I don't, I don't judge. <laughs> I just said that. I held my hands up and she's like, well, good. And I'm like, all right. She's like, so have you ever gotten a hand job before? I'm like, no. She's like, have you ever gotten anything before? I'm like, eh, should you tell her? No, Austin, you shouldn't. So I'm like, nope, I've never had any sexual contact with a girl before. And she's like, well, this is going to be your first and greatest time. And I'm like, sweet. So <laughs> uh, I'm not going to get into detail, but you know what happened. She, uh. She undressed me, and I undressed her, and uh, believe it or not, like, we didn't go any farther than this, but she basically just kind of gave it the old tug, <laughs> and um, about 20 minutes in, okay, I'm sitting there, you know, I'm enjoying myself, and, you know, she's she's uh, she's tugging on my, my nub, my, my little nub, yeah, uh-huh, and um, all of a sudden, I hear something, and I hear everyone get out now i'm like whoa what's going on what's going on and I, I got fucking paranoid like literally the hard on that i had for this girl was gone in like 10 seconds after i heard this kid scream everyone get out because i knew cops i was like only thing that shot through my head was cops 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 so i i quickly pulled my pants up you know put my shirt on i told her i'm like get dressed quick 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 so i opened the door and i'm like what's going on some kid goes there's a police officer in the driveway there's a police officer in the driveway so me being sneaky that I am, I took this girl's hand and I'm like, run. So I, t I held her hand and I ran out the door. We actually jumped this kid's fence and cut through some backyards. And, um, you know, after about 10 minutes of just straight running, you were eventually in my backyard. So what happened was, is uh, I took my spare key. I let her into my house. We finished what we started in my room. And uh, it lasted a lot longer that way since it wasn't such a social event. 
and um everything ended up being okay the cops like literally i was out of there before the cop even got out of his car like everyone just scrambled it was so funny because you could actually my friend told me the day later like the day after it happened he told me that the cop was literally just hauling ass to get to these he was trying to catch whoever was running but you know slick old austin always gets away with it so that was basically a quick story for today guys that was my first hand job my first crazy encounter with the like it was one of like the third parties i went to as being a high schooler and you know these parties just haven't been better guys they just really haven't so if you guys did enjoy please leave a like let's get this my first story to 300 likes i'd like to break that goal you guys fucking wrecked my last goal i'm like 500 boom 700 if you can get this if you get this video to 700 likes i'll just i'll lose it i'll just fucking i don't know what i'll do but anyway guys this has been austin ffa or luna you guys take care. Peace.